Well, good afternoon and welcome to a, another little fishy adventure here in Jersey. It's a beautiful day, it's been overcast all day. The sun's just decided to put his hat on. And no, I'm not going hip, 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 hooray like the old song used to say. I'm actually a bit pissed off to be honest because it was leading up to be a lovely overcast evening. A little bit of darkness to the water because it's a little bit clear at the moment. But hopefully we can get out, get into some fish. That is the plan. Now, you probably recognize this place in the background from a few videos ago. Actually, a long time ago. We had some nice fish here over the winter. We don't really fish it that much because it's just not a place that we come to. But tonight we've got a little bit of a dirty wind that's variable and it's all over the place. So we're just gonna have a shot in the dark and have a go at it and see if we can get into anything. Now, the plan is, is as always, gonna fish some soft plastics i'm actually going to go for this lemon back sun slicker tonight it's white it's got a little rattle in it and i'm hoping when we get over to that bit over there i'm hoping that when we get over there without falling over we can hopefully get into a few fish and i'm hoping that the lemon back really plays up because it's a little bit overcast in places and a little bit bright so I just want to give that lure every kind of option to get a fish or a fish to see it. So I've got a rattle and the colour. Also this evening, we have seen a couple of times air search and rescue or inshore rescue plane zipping around really low. So more than likely there is a problem out to sea. So we're going to keep our eyes out for anything peculiar or something that just doesn't look straight, something that doesn't look right. And uh, yeah, if we do, you get on the blower straight away. But it's always better to be safe and sorry out here. As you can see, we're taking a nice slow walk over, about waist deep. But yeah, hopefully we can get into some fish. Now what I'm gonna do, once I get over there, I'll put the cameras on, I'll let it roll, and hopefully the fish will be on the chew. If not, I'm just gonna have to swallow my words. Let's go. You ready, Shark? Yeah, boy. As you can see, it's a, a little bit choppy coming through here. You've got to really keep an eye out where you're putting your feet. Always good to have some polies on. We're just tracking through here so we can get to our first head to fish. But as you can see, there are plenty of little choppers coming towards us. And underneath us really isn't that straightforward. So be careful. Go slow. Speed doesn't win the race here. Go up. Oi. This is where you fell last time. Exactly, yeah. Right here. Hey, nearly. Boom. Right, so as you can see, we are at our first port of call, our first destination. Little zip through on what I'm using. Trusty injection 79. Uh, I have gone for 30 pound braid because it is quite reefy around here and shallow. BG 3000. I've gone for a 25 pound leader and that is a sun slicker Mishnah with a rattle in lemon back. Hopefully that fish can get the bites here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to slow roll this over the reef, casting 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, and so on. Actually, 1, 2, 3, you get what the clock means, but you get what I'm saying with the clock. And I'm just going to cover as much ground as possible. Always, in these particular marks, I've also got a net ready to hand, which is extendable. But before I get soaked by one of these waves, because I've not got a coat, I'm going to get in there and start fishing. Let's go. 
go. It's looking really tasty in here. Just got a hit, really small. Ooh. I swear I just had another bite, I'm not too sure. It was a really good sharp take. It's weird because there's not many wrasse around this area, if any. But I've definitely just had a couple of hits. Just had a hit. Yeah. Came back with no weed on it. Well, I've had a couple of knocks on that, but not really anything taking it whole or on the full. More just little nibs where probably small bass around here are just nibbing the tail. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go for a top water now. I've got the wind behind me, so I'll be able to launch it over the shallow reefs and hopefully we can hook up. You know that miserable moment when you can't find your favorite lure or the lure that you're looking for. And that's what I'm looking for. Grodo kind of color I'm not too sure what this pachinko color is but it's like a grotto type of sand smelty color and I love this color I think this color is great there you go Oh, I just got hit. Oh, look at the fish taking my lure. First cast, man. Double take on the surface lure. Oh. I had two fish attack it. Come on, third shark. First, first shark I had two hits. Then nothing. Where is it? What's going on? Come on, fishy. What's going on? Just had the takes and now I've just had nothing again. No, don't you want me go? Don't you need me go? All right, we're just about to move spots. I had two fish, properly pretty small, maybe hot dogs. Take the lure first cast and then I've whipped it around a load more times. Had nothing. So what we're going to do is we're going to go on to another part of the reef but it's going to be a little bit windier so I'm going to go back to the lemon back
Yop, fish! Up! Yop! Oh, mate, this could be a good fish. Yeah, it's a good fish. It's a good fish. Oh, he's all over the shop. Yes, man! Boom! Boom, boom, boom! Well, I haven't got him yet, so... Coming. Long we see. <laughs> yeah! Ooh. He's alright, eh? Decent, He's He's nice, him. man! Right, you can go do what you want to do, mate. <laughs> Fine. Well, we were just about to have a little break because the fishing has been a little bit slow and as you probably know by these particular areas there's really drop really deep sandy drop-offs and to get between different gullies it's really hard and you've got to bide your time and there's no rush but as we were waiting ben just went to go and chill for a little bit banged out a lure tugged it through a gully and bang boom bass came in out of nowhere and as soon as it hit me, I thought, oh, that's an all right fish. So he took the Mishnah in lemon back or lemon meringue. And there's the fish there. That's all right. He's not a bad fish eh, at all. Not bad. not bad fish at all. He has really put a really good fight in. Proper solid. Loads of good runs. I did think it was hooked maybe on the side because it was kiting around. But there you go. There's a probably the best fish I've had for a while so a lovely fish and hopefully we can get into a few more that would be really really good what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna probably just put that fish back let him swim away but what do you reckon 60 centimeters so. yeah about 60 something like that I'll... what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna revive him a little bit of time to go back just trying to get some of this fresh water in his lungs come on girl takes a bit of time Come on, go. Not very happy. Come on, go. So this fish is really struggling to go back, and I hate keeping fish, so I'm gonna do my utmost best to get him to go. There we go. Oh, come on, bud. Well, I wasn't expecting to do that. Still got to him go. Boom, 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 boom.
particular area, usually first cast gets the fish. So I got the last fish. I'm going to let Benny boy go in for the next. So uh, I know where I'm going to cast here. Does Ben know where he's going to cast? That's the thing. Pressure's on. <laughs> but the fun in fishing. Come on, Benny boy. He knows where to cast. <laughs> Come on. It's like getting a cat in. Come on. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. It's always good to have a little bit of fun when you're fishing. It's not all serious stuff, it's more fun. I reckon it's about 90% fun, 10% serious with us lot. It's a good crack always. Right, I'm getting in there, mate. I'm hoping to get across this. It looks bloody sketchy though. Oh. Really sketchy. Really sketchy, yes. Here we go. Right, it's only been one fish so far. It's not been the best, but getting into some areas that we don't usually fish, so I'm hoping there's gonna be something in this area. Loads of sunken heads, you can see all the waves and Screams bass, but only one so far. Come on, good cast that. Yeah, you get across there, easy. It's only small, I think. Where is he? fish again second fish not the biggest but he's absolutely destroyed that lure though he's absolutely hooned that down the throat definitely a hungry fish Yeah, man. Nice. in the air that means it's time to go the sun's gone down the fishing's really slow two fish to the good one really nice junk and a smaller fish both falling for the lemon meringue sun slicker but it's been really hard work the weeds actually moved into this bay which it does in the summer we get a lot of green weed that shifts in from our avenue and from the west i don't even know where it comes from it might even grow here but it's here in abundance now and it's really hard to fish through but if you've got the patience to fish particular areas where the green weed is you will pick up fish that's the end of that time to go home till next time be safe fish hard and most of all have fun <laughs> <laughs>